and the students are ready to perform Christmas hang-ups. You mind? Not at all. 
What about me? All my points going in the right direction? All five looking A-OK. -okay. Great. Wow, it must be great to be a star or an angel. Yeah, it is. Just to be a part of the first Christmas. That's right. Angels and stars were a big part of that day. Just wondering, uh, 
What exactly do you have to do at Christmas? Oh, we're at Cup Family at Christmas. Beautiful Christmases, in fact. <coughs> Palm trees, sunshine, the ocean. The ocean? Yes. Let me teach you a little something about Christmas on the islands of Hawaii. <coughs> Thank you. 
or a scarf to have a place on this tree. I mean, I am important to this family and they want to put me on display at Christmas time. You know that for a fact. Absolutely. I remind them of something fun and exciting in their lives. Oh yeah? I was part of a happy celebration. What kind of celebration? The Watsons' 20th anniversary. Really? I didn't know the Watsons are married for 20 years. Yeah, they celebrated their anniversary with a nice trip to Hawaii. I didn't even know they were gone. Well, maybe you ought to get to know the Watsons a little more instead of just hanging around on too much year. Kind of like Christmassy. Well, you know. Yeah, I guess. There is that. Since I've been here, I found out there were ornaments in this box that were made by the Watson children when they were small. Did you all know that? Yeah, we you know. We usually go to the back of the tree. And well, I shouldn't be spreading gossip, but some of those ornaments haven't made it out of the box in years. Oh, really? The Watson kids are almost grown. They won't even notice anywhere. That's sad. It's just part of the gig, who are girls? Some make it, some don't. Hey, I even heard a few ornaments even get accidentally thrown out with a tree each year. Yeah, those from the back. Oops. That's horrible. It happens. Could happen to you, you know. Frosty, just trying to keep it real here. You mean I could get left in the box or or thrown out with the trash? Oh no. Hey Frosty, you're looking a little thin on one side. Let's go see if we can find some extra snow in the box to fluffing you up. Yeah, we'll fix it right up. Oh really? Thanks. Okay then, I'll be standing right over here. What a way to start my first Christmas. Tex. I'm part of the 
not so Christmassy ornament collection. You mean they're more like me? Are you kidding? There's lots of us. Souvenir ornaments, you mean? Yep, and some of their traditional types, they don't think we belong. Yeah, maybe we don't. Now don't go jump into conclusions. What? We're part of this family as much as their other ornaments and just as important. Really? Yep, and some of us come up from far off places. I do, I come from Hawaii. There you go, the Watsons got me at Dude Ranch when they visited with their kids, and the rest of our kind comes from all over. Cool. Do you want to meet the rest of the souvenirs? Sure. Hey guys, come out and meet the new hula girl. Meet Slugger. He came all the way from Philadelphia. Hey, better, better, hey, better, better. Play ball. And Lady Liberty, she's from New York City. Give me your tired, your poor, your hairy, your hungry, and everyone else. And my favorite, Stitch, she's from Hawaii too. Hana means family, family means nobody gets left behind. <laughs> and of course, the mouse. He made it in the box of the wife to visit a pool with their kids. <laughs> just as important as you guys. She does, huh? Well, she is the right to be wrong. Hey, hold on there, Missy. We don't take kindly off your mouth and off like that, especially right here from the new Hula Girl. So you really think you're better than us? As good as. Wait a minute, guys. I didn't mean to start an argument. Hey, cowpoke dude, step across this line. Who, me? You heard the snowman. Hey, why don't all of you step across this line? Do you guys really think you're... What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Hello, hello. Hey, think you guys can maybe be a little more quieter out there? The wife's trying to get the baby sleep, so we could use a little help. Hey, I'm sorry, Buckaroo. Yeah, we didn't know. Did you say baby? Yes. He's a newborn, and he needs to sleep. A newborn? Yes, I'm trying to stay warm in that stable over there. And a manger, well, there's no good for a bed, as you all know. A stable? A manger? Your name wouldn't happen to be Joseph, would it? Yes, it would. But, Angela, do you know this guy? Yeah, we know about this guy. He's part of the first Christmas in Bethlehem, just like us. What are you doing here, Joseph? Are you a souvenir or a real ornament? Hey, hold on there, Missy. Yeah, let's not start that again. Well, I'm really not an ornament at all. I'll sit up on the mantle this year with my family in a special place. Your family? Yes, Mary, my wife, gave birth to a son. It's God's son. Whoa, wow. God's son, huh, sounds right down interesting. Can you tell us about this baby? Can you tell us the whole story? The only parts we know are about stars. And angels. I'm right behind you to tell us. Okay, okay. Well, it all started many years ago when prophets heard from God that he was going to send his son to save the world. Later, 
there's a new law that said we all had to go to our hometowns to pay taxes. So Mary and I left our home in Nazareth and made the long trip. about why he came to candy.
Lefty, and last year he changed the Watsons too. How? Well, they got new hearts. New what? New hearts. Actually, totally new lives. Can you do that? Oh, it's like you need a new wire hanger or paint touch up? No, it's nothing they did on the outside. They first believed that Jesus was real and that he really did die for them. Then they asked God to make them brand new on the inside. Disney faith change everything about the Watsons? Yes. Like their marriage? Especially their marriage, Beth. Is that why they celebrated the anniversary of the trip to Hawaii? Well, that's part of it. They each welcomed their lives and celebrated 20 years together. They even renewed their vows in the islands. That's like a second wedding. That's so romantic. Aww. <laughs> Our I hate to ask, but does this mean we won't be needed anymore? That we won't be coming out of the decorations box this year? Yeah, what about us, old guys? Will we have a part in their new lives? Well, of course, Fossey. In fact, their new lives are trying to every make everything special about you guys. But, but what? But Jesus will have first place. Sure. 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 Our stable, our manger. Well, remind them the Savior born in Bethlehem was born to save them. That's how the lives will be from now on. All about the Savior. Sure, that's okay. Yeah. 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 Mr. Joseph, do you think we could see the baby? I mean, <laughs> if it's all right with Mary? Well, I'll go ask. Why don't you guys stay right here? I'll be right back. Okay, okay we'll be okay, here. Okay, okay. Well, Frosty. Yeah, little girl? Looks like we're kind of on equal ground now, huh? Yes, it does. We're all part of a special life of the Watson's family. I, I reckon that's true. Right there, Angela. Sure, Tex. I'm going to cry. Group hug. Oh. 
Dear Jesus, thank you for Christmas, not just because we get out of school and get presents, but because it's your birthday. Thank you for coming to earth so, you, so we could get to know our Heavenly Father better and so you could give your life for us. This year, help us to remember to celebrate you and everything else we do. I love you, Jesus. Happy birthday. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.